very little. Of course, they took the shirt off of him in the last three games of the year, and immediately they go to the ground, and it's Jordan Wilkins, 100% in the Southeastern Conference so far this year. Just throw the game is to D.K. Metcalf, and Metcalf gets just past the 30-yard line. Acuting the offense it's in its entirety. Power to the staff, false start, number one on the offense. Or to go to convert on third and nine than it is third and four. Under heavy pressure is Patterson. Cannot escape the second man. As pressure right in the open. There he is coming off the edge and watch him get there. Forces Shea Patterson up and into the pocket, but then who's waiting on him? It's Emmanuel Smith to finish the business off. Way to pull yourself out of this. It's all about, it's all about the team. Wilkins out to the outside, and he's got a first down run. Patient, strong. First down after 11 yard run for Wilkins, and Patterson wants to go deep. And it's incomplete into the hands of deep. Spectacular catches. Trey Herndon is right there in coverage. Second down, run. Wilkins walks up to the line in the first of speed. And for Vanderbilt, they've got to get off the field right now on third downs. It is on third and three. All kinds of time for Patterson behind that good offensive line. And to the sideline, the catch is made by A.J. Brown. Through the whistle. He's thinking that A.J. Brown is from the Vandy 35. Patterson punts. And still throws underneath the Brown. It's in front of him. Eight yards. Positive play, second and two. And Patterson quickly miscommunicates there with the nighttime game. Uh, maybe. Some would say that. Let's see on this bunch formation. Uh, Vandy's given up seven of ten. Option. And Wilkins is hit at the 29-yard line. Leverage. He's, it's because of him. Vanderbilt's going to get a lot of guys. Once he forces the ball back inside, they get everybody to the, to the pitch man. Watch the position. He doesn't give up leverage, forces it back inside. About five jerseys. 26-yard line. And it's Wilkins with all kinds of daylight. Up the gut. And in the way he moves. Watch him set this to the left and then break it out the back door. The close down. Caleb Pert, the outside linebacker. 18 yards on the last play. Might get back to the line of scrimmage Bama. on the Crimson Tide. Wow. Fake to Wilkins and wide open is Brown and Brown skips a tackle. He's inside the 30. He is gone. Watch the linebacker here. He's going to take a step up and that's going to create a nice throwing lane from Patterson to Brown right here. Nice big window to throw the ball and squeeze it into and that makes it easy. Now it's just talent from A.J. Brown. Can I break a tackle and Take it the distance, picked up a nice block. He told us yesterday, I should not be the head coach in anywhere else in the country. I should be the head coach here. Patterson in all kinds of trouble. Throws to the sideline, it's incomplete. There is Personal foul, face mask on the offense, number 79. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay, first down. Tim's a backup right guard, is playing some center now. On the shotgun snap to Patterson, out there to Van Jefferson, and Jefferson's got no place to go. But they are stepping up. The guys in the slot are going to have to step up. Make the Peniman, and Patterson keeps himself. He slides on the line for the team. This is the last play, the previous play with Patterson. It's a run, a design run. There's plenty. There's still stuff to get there. So third down for Ole Miss, and 13 from their own from the Vandy 45. Patterson deflected ball on the field. Mason says there's two kind of people in this world. People that are limited and limitless. First and ten. Wilkins wide open spacing all the way into Vanderbilt territory. There is a flag that comes in late as he goes into the end zone on what would be a 75-yard touchdown run. Holding number 76 on the offense. In the middle, he'll pull around, but and lock, lock up on Charles Wright, but you got to let go. The runner's by you, you got to let go, and they're going to call him for it. You'll see right there. 
an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against Matt Luke and the Ole Miss staff on top of the holding penalty. Yeah, that's the, the new penalty that's, that was inserted this year. Can't argue a call. It's Eric Sweeney puts up his left hand, makes the catch, and another loss on the play. Now it's second down. Ole Miss has the football at their own four-yard line. That's incomplete to bring four, which is a surprise. Third and 31. They have to get to the 35. Double to Wilkins. And he gives the punter, Gleason, some breathing room. Championships, and he wants a winning culture around him at all times. Well, Shea Patterson and the Rebels need to get back to work. Down 14 to 7. 14 unanswered for Vandy, and he tries... DeMarcus Lodge there, seeing the sprints Dre was doing this morning to get ready for this game. Get my, get my head right, man. Patterson finds Brown for a first down, staying in bounds, tiptoeing the sideline. In. Kind of in the uh, mold of Chris Carter. Boy, does he fit. It's 27 yards. Now Wilkins gets a first down run inside the 35 to go in the second quarter. Penniman in the backfield. Instead, it's Patterson who is tripped up. And touchdown, it's 20 to 7. Taylor, boom. <laughs> Patterson, wide open, hotty tidy. Demarcus Lodge, touchdown, Rebels. You think he got help inside or deep help inside where Jones should be? He gets, I'm not sure what he's doing or what he's seeing. There's not a receiver in sight, and they allow. DeMarcus Lodge to run straight on a post route himself. Boy, has he come on in the last two weeks. Some sudden change, go to the end zone. Little sacks roll this already, and here's the shot immediately from Patterson, and it's incomplete. Yeah, the speedster, 4-4, 40-yard dash, man. Patterson in trouble, and he escapes against his body throws, and what a perfect touch pass to Wilkins inside the five. When you're playing complementary football, when one unit can feed off the play of another, the defense makes a big sack and a fumble and threatening now at about the three-yard line. Patterson said he patterned his game after Johnny Manziel. You can see it there. Penniman in the backfield, but a whistle. Looks like the center. Jordan Sims may have forgotten to snap the football. Ball start, 14 on the offense. Five-yard penalty, first down. Back in. And a first and goal from the seventh. Jordan goes straight ahead, gets back near the original line. Let me check in and, and give him the extra lineman on the field. Patterson wants to keep it himself. This time he'll take on defenders to the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Not. I can't get over there. I don't think you're seeing Damian Harris in Alabama or. Saquon Barkley at Penn State doing it right now as Patterson run defense and some busted assignments have to clean that up Wilkins first down run out near midfield not a good running team already with 73 yards in the first half now touch pass one-on-one -on -one coverage and are they going to give this to Metcalf they are this is a battle this is a guy that Scared Derek Mason. Look at this catch. That is one heck of a catch right there. Tyrone Prothrow won an ESPY for making a catch like that. DK Metcalf, years later. Patterson pumps and throws incomplete. Both of these catches last year went for touchdowns. Straight ahead. Look at this run by Wilkins taking Vanderbilt defenders with him. Touchdown, Rebels. Territory, which is an easy short field for Ole Miss. Patterson to the middle of the field. Great catch made by Moore, by Brown. Check for Warren Burks. Patterson. Incomplete as he comfortable and set. I love getting through the progression. Just do it with a little less body movement. Looked like he wanted to take off, and he will. Gets to the sideline, and there's a hit that's going to come in. That's a flag. Fade if he wants it right now. No help over the top. Instead, it's Wilkins. Tries to stiff arm a man and is tackled at the 
That's why the formation is the same. He goes to it. Five star meal. Touchdown. Down. 49 points total in the second quarter today. This is Penniman, and this is close to a first down run. Straight goals happen. So Patterson has time. Throws another first down catch is made by Lodge, trying to get out of bounds, and he does. Way to the sideline. 14 yards, time maybe for two or three more plays. They do have two timeouts. Off his back foot to the sideline, it's incomplete. But Matt Luke told us yesterday, he said he needed about five or six extra yards to have a field goal attempt today. They need about 12 or 13 to have a good look for Logan. This play taking a lot of time, though. And it could be the last play of the half as Patterson throws at the sideline, and they do run out the clock. After further review, the ball hit the ground with one second remaining in the half. Therefore, it will be third down. Three Vanderbilt defensive backs are in the end zone awaiting a Hail Mary. Patterson will step up and even. It's a wobbly football that's batted down to end the half. First half of football for sophomore quarterback Shea Patterson and his senior tailback Jordan Wilkins. Senior from Cordova, Tennessee. Breaks tackles and is into the free around the left side for a first down run. How about that? The SEC at Tennessee. Grayson has needed Oren Burks to make tackles like that this year. Couldn't do it there. For a 17-yard run, Wilkins inside. Miss, never in a hurry, and makes it look easy. Over 100 yards for the second time this season. To the end zone, wide open is A.J. Brown. You see here, watch the eyes of Shea Patterson holding Tarpley inside, and that gives A.J. Brown. It's like me wanting to do play-by-play, -play and you always making it back just before I could take it out of break. <laughs> that is Jordan Wilkins. I feel for those. Is that like it? to do play-by-play -play and what, analyze. What am I going to do then? Yeah, do, be the analyst all in yeah, one. That's a terrible idea if I'm going to be the analyst. Patterson across the middle. Nice. Up the stairs goes Brown. And he's excellent. Showed it to us early in the ball game after the catch. 167 yards before that play. Breaks another tackle. Playing for the Bulldogs. Two. Easy throw and catch to Van Jefferson. Just Heller and the backup quarterbacks is playing some tight end this year. Runs onto the field. Blocking for Patterson, giving him all kinds of time. Nobody home, so ultimately. Come to life in that second half against Auburn is uh, kind of a the light switch coming on for the program. Trouble. He's going down. Greenwood, Indiana, Center Grove High School. 17, Patterson underneath. And that's DeMarcus Lodge. You may start this drive. Their average starts are own 42. This is the best, some of the best field position of the day from the 27. And it's Wilkins. Best are working to run, but he's covering a lot of ground. Yards. Now the quick throw, and that's Lodge. This is a fun offense for receivers to play in. It's no wonder they've been able to recruit that position very, very well. Wilkins. Does he have enough speed? No, he doesn't. Get away from Ferguson. They won't even let it happen. Offside on the defense, number 34. Player was beyond the tackle, therefore the play was shut down. Penalty is half the distance to the goal, third down. One of those tight ends coming out of the backside. They make the shift. And it's Penniman. He tackled at the five yard line. It's nothing, we got nothing. Zero. Thirty-five yard line. This is a third and ten. 
Screen pass to Swinney. He's got plenty of room, and that's a first down catch. So a first and 10 for the Rebels at their own 46-yard line. It's an inside carry by Swinney who gets past the 50. Derek Mason says the defense goes through him. He's got to play better. Patterson takes a shot. And it looked like some grabbing down the sideline, and the flag comes in. Perhaps this week. Pass interference on the defense, number 31. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. And the group that uh, they can run. So a fresh set of downs for Ole Miss at the Vanderbilt 34. And Swinney burst at 141 yards and four touchdowns throwing, another running. And in one, and there's a first down catch that's made. Another top ten team. Looks like they're going to go down. Sweeney's back. Looks like uh, that, they may come up short. This game still going on with the Jackets. Second and eight. On the field, and we're not going to let you make any substitutions. First down run for Sweeney inside the in the game now for the Rebels at quarterback and relief of Shea Patterson. First play, Tahamu takes it himself and has a first down. Wig said, hey, if you think losing three games is tough, try getting chemotherapy and going to practice. Big time reality check for our group. And look at Jordan Wilkins running in the, that's Eric Swinney running in the free, that's a touchdown. Eric Swinney takes the football and chug a lug all the way to the end zone. Today, all game long, Ole Miss just lived in the backfield and in the lap of Kyle Shermer. It's DK Buford about as tough as you can you can find one. Some good football being played in Jordan Taamu, the backup quarterback for the Rebels playing the position now and keeping the football in a third and six and he'll hit defenders ahead for the first down. Masters would have to know all those names. <laughs> Speaking of the JUCO ranks at North New Mexico Military Institute, he had 32 passing touchdowns last year. He, three of those last five to I, I match think, last year's total. Yeah, I think they'll get to bowl eligibility and get the extra practices needed to fight for Brett Bielema. Could be the last play of the game as it's a run by Brasley. 